Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode, uh, with either 19 or 20, one of those two. And let's go and continue on. We are currently in April the 5th. We're actually getting close to the end of the year, which is really sad. I mean, I really, I really hate it when stories come to an end because it's like, it was such a great story. And that's what I feel like whenever this game comes to an end. But anyway, we still have some time before the end of the year, so let's just go and enjoy ourselves. There are several students in the library today, but many is nowhere to be seen. It's a nice day, so I decide to go out for a walk. Plenty of other people have had the same idea. I can see a couple of girls, horses by the capes, out for a jog in the distance. And there's a small group of people having a discussion. No, an argument. Did that guy just shove somebody? I walk closer to see what's going on. A mindless twit, then no, I don't. Kyo, please, just let it go. What's he got that I don't got, huh? Firstly, English skills. <laughs> um, He's my friend, that's all. Which means he listens to me. Maybe that's a new concept for you, listening to what a lady actually says. Shut your face! Please, just leave me alone. This is so embarrassing. You're the one making a fool out of me. I've done everything for you and you just throw it back in my face. I'm not... You're killing me. You are killing me. Is that what you want? Is that what it takes to make you happy? No. Because that's what's going to happen, isn't it? You're not going to leave me any choice, admit it. Man, back off. Fix your own problems. Kyo glares down at the two of them, his lips curling in distaste. Next time, you're not getting away. Oh my god, this guy. His fists still clench, Kyo turns and walks away from Minnie and Jacob. Which means, purely by accident, that he's walking towards me. Uh, hi Kyo. Get out of my way. I step aside and let him pass. This isn't any of my business and I probably shouldn't interfere. In the distance I see Minnie shaking her head at Jacob and then run off alone. Oh, poor Minnie. I hope she's okay. I mean, that was pretty hectic. So, just to refresh my memory, what happened last week? Oh yeah, we realized the loophole in Virginia's contract. Then April Fools happened. And then love is a battlefield, which is what just happened. Let me take a quick refresher of the spells that I can cast. I can cast Empathy, and we've been recently upgrading our white magic. I think the game is a little bit louder than normal. No, that's normal. Oh well. Um, communication, okay. Awareness, Fracture, Teleport. We can teleport stuff. Burn magic. Transmutes the target's magical energy into heat, causing damage. Okay, so I guess that takes away some of their mana and burns them. Let's go to next week. What should I do this week? Good question, Silver. Let's go for some more blue magic. And actually, let's have you rest on the first day. Blue magic, and then go for some gym. Okay. So this is on the Wednesday night. The first thing I see when I open my eyes is Ellen standing next to my bed. Silver? What is it? Ah! It's time for the thunder call. I have to go wake up everybody. You should get up. Why are we getting up? It's a dance. Come on, get your shoes on. I have to go. She hurries out of the room. Oh, why are we dancing? Because there's a thunderstorm, so we're celebrating. We have to make as much noise as possible. It's fun. I guess that sounds kind of fun, but does it have to be in the middle of the night? Everyone is gathered in the gym, and like Virginia said, they're raising an enormous ruckus. Everyone's jumping around and screaming loud enough to drown out the thunder. It's worse than a rock concert. And then there's the fire dancing. 
We're shooed to safety we're shooed to the safety of the walls. While a few of the upper classmen take turns weaving fire around themselves as if as they twist and spin. I can't see how they're doing it. Is the fire attached to anything? Or are they just controlling it solely with their minds? William turns out to be one of the best, keeping multiple streams of fire whipping dangerously around his limbs. Those skills must be terrifying in a duel. But for the rest of us, there's only stomping and howling until we collapse from exhaustion and can finally go back to bed. I need more sleep. Well, that was interesting. Succeeded in gym. Fate- oh no! Ellen gets up and does her stuff. What should I do today? Um, go to the mall. And go and... Food shopping and get some cookies. The snack is tasty, but it doesn't last long. It's a lovely day, so I go for a walk across the campus. In the distance, I can see Kyo and Minnie walking arm in arm. I guess they made up. Duck! I dodge quickly as something flies overhead. Oops, sorry about that. She retrieves her soccer ball. It's still a lot easier to control with my foot than with a spell. Well, you've got three more years of classes to work on it, right? True. Come kick some goals with me? Sure, I guess. But soon enough, our freshman year will be over. Let's go into next week. What should I do? Sleep, firstly. And then finish off your blue magic. Let's just go... Let's go sleep, study, then blue magic all the way. We learned Cloak. Caster alters air visible projections. Let me say it again. Caster alters air visual projections, becoming difficult to see for a short period of time. Blue magic. More. This is Friday the April. Friday April 18th. I noticed that Ellen is still in bed. Well after her usual time to get up on a weekday. Hey Ellen, are you feeling okay? I'm fine, just staying in today. You're slacking off? Maybe I'm rubbing off on you. Today is Good Friday. Oh, that's not an official holiday here though. I know, it's... I just thought it would be nice to have a quiet day. I guess that makes sense. Is that really it? Wow, that was, that's like a weird transition, but anyway. Ellen gets up and does stuff. What should I do today? We're already two weeks f further. Wow. Let's go and study. Minnie is nowhere to be seen in the library. Let's go into next week. And this week, let's, let's actually sleep in the middle of the week. Let's do some gym, study, and finish off our blue magic. Oh, Silver! Would you like to order an exam snack snack? Oh, uh, what? It's a fundraiser for the May Day Ball. We're ordering boxes of snacks so that next week when you're preparing for your finals, you'll have some food and drink handy. How much? Five dollars. It's really cheap. Okay, I'll take one. I hand over my money and she writes my name down on an order pad. I'll deliver the boxes next week. Thanks. So this is like going to be the last week next week, really. Helen gets up and does stuff. Okay, so I believe this is going to be like the final week. This is... Wow, this happened like so fast. The previous few weeks literally passed, it felt like five minutes ago. Probably was five minutes ago actually. Let's go and study. Minnie is still nowhere to be seen. Next week. <sighs> this is it. The end of the school year. Two more days of classes, then final exams. Then the ball, and then we go home. Oh my god, guys. I'm like getting teary-eyed already.
The exam snack packs have arrived just in time. That makes studying a little bit easier. On Tuesday morning, somebody knocks on our door. Good morning! Here are your exam schedules for the day. She hands us a piece of paper. Wait, there's a mistake. We're all scheduled for the same time. Didn't you know? The final is a group exam. Does that mean that if one of us fails, we all fail? I'm not sure. Hey, I guess we'll find out. Ah oh man, we didn't finish off our blue magic. After the class period, we arrive for exam as instructed. All three of us. Hello, my sprited fillies. Today's exam will be a bit differently than usual. You'll all be going into the dungeon together. Your task is to find the crystal orb and use your energy to light it up before time runs out. It will not be easy to find and you'll face many dangers. So you need to work together to conquer this challenge. Good luck! She claps her hand and the world starts to spin. For a moment after the teleport, I'm not sure what's happened. All around is complete blackness. Am I in a dungeon? Am I lost somewhere in the void? I am standing on something, I think. Then Ellen casts a light spell and our surroundings become dimly visible. We are in a vast, dark space, empty and silent, far from any wall or landmark. Put that out! It might attract monsters! But we can't see! If we all huddle around it, the light won't get far. We crouch closer together. Okay, now what? We wait for a moment, but this time there's no booming voice that speaks overhead. Apparently Professor Potsdam's instructions are all that we get. The rest is up to us. Well, let's see which way we need to go. She casts a spell and the air around us swirls faintly. That's strange, and it usually gives me a direction. I guess we'll have to look the hard way. The crystal has to be out there somewhere. This place is huge, and we have a time limit. We need a plan. Okay, I can't do their voices at once. Virginia and Ellen, I have an idea. I have an idea. They both stop and look at each other. We need to find the crystal. That's the goal. That's how we win. We need to find the boss monster. There's bound to be one, and if we don't handle the main thread, it could sneak up on us. Virginia's right. Professor Postum said this exam was dangerous. We need to find the danger and take care of it. Ha! <laughs> Two against one! I'm not arguing if that's what you want, then that's what we'll do. Okay, how do we find it? Unless you got a better idea, we should probably go around looking for scent trails. I can track scent. Me too. Me three. We should take turns, Carsten. Not every step, just now and then. We'll circle around and try to get an idea of where the boss is lurking. Following Virginia's plan, we move through the darkness, spreading out a bit to get full coverage while remaining within sight of each other. Tracing the scent trails, we detect at least three creatures that have been moving around in this dungeon recently. It's hard to figure out exactly where they are because the trail crosses back and forth. We need to go all the way around the region and check that all the tracks lead in, none out, to be sure that we've got them. Ellen calls it circumscribing. As we're moving, I feel the floor shift beneath me and an invisible knife slashes at my legs. A trap. I managed to keep from screaming, but I've clearly taken some damage. I'm now at about 78% health. Well, that's handy to always be able to tell how much percentage health you have after a, you know, an instant like that. It's not that bad. I can keep going. Eventually, we are sure we found the region the monsters are currently lurking inside. Well, there's three things we can do. We can throw lightning bolts or two in there and hope we hit something, but since we don't know exactly where they are, we might miss. 
We can create a flare or something and try to lure them out where we want them and then attack from behind while they're distracted. Or we can just surround them and charge in from three directions. Hmm. What should we do? Luring them sound like in an intelligent thing, but charging and attacking sound really fun. Excuse me for a second, I need to clear my throat. Yeah, okay. Let's just get them. Alright. We split up. Each planning to move to a different point before we charge in and converge on the center. Unfortunately, it's hard to coordinate a distance in the dark. We've got a countdown, but it's only going to be a guess. When the time comes, I think, I hurry forward, keeping my ears tuned for trouble. Unfortunately, over the noise of my own footsteps and breathing, I don't hear the rush of claws until it's too late. Ow! I can see it, but I can't see it, but something is attacking me! I'm now down to 61% health. I aim a spell at the snarling shadow and quickly scatter it. I can hear other spells being cast nearby. The cavalry has arrived. Ellen and Virginia quickly take care of the remaining monsters. It was a nasty fight, lost in the dark, and we've got... We've all got some scrapes to show for it, but we're still standing. So far so good, but time is ticking. We hurry onwards, looking every which way for a sign of the crystal. Finally, Ellen called out that she sees something. Ah, there it is! So, how do we make it work? I don't know. She said we should put our energy into it. Look, there's little indentations around the edge. I think if we put our hands there... Virginia steps closer and touches the rim of the pedestal. Energy sparkles to life within the crystal. My turn now. I feel a strange rushing, rushing sensation as power flows out of me and into the crystal. Finally, Ellen approaches the crystal. When she touches it, it throbs with light. Did we do it? The familiar sensation of teleportation washes over us. We find ourselves standing in the sunlight on the main quad. Congratulations, all of you! You have successfully completed your freshman year. That will be five merits for each of you. Now go and relax. You have a dance coming up to enjoy. Oh, we did it. We're done. I'm going to carry on this episode until the end. So this is going to be the long... So this is going to be a long episode. I hope you guys... In, are enjoying it thus far. I'm going to continue right now. There are no classes today or tomorrow. Everyone's relaxing, making plans for the dance and getting their pictures taken for the yearbook. Funny, at my old school picture day was near the beginning of the year, but here it's almost literally last minute. The whole thing has to be finished overnight. May 1st. And this is it. The last day. After the dance, my parents will come and take me home. I suppose I should find out if Virginia wants to go to the dance with me. Hi. Hi. Um, the May Day Ball. Do you want to go with me? Um, about that. I think we should talk. Uh oh. You're going with someone else? No way. If I'm not going with you, I'm not going with anyone. Then what is it? Well, it's a dance. You don't have a dress? I do, actually. It's not very fancy and I've never worn it in public, but I do have one. So, what exactly is the problem? You're going to laugh. Me laughing is the problem, or I'm going to laugh when I hear it? Both? I may not be into romance, but I know how they go. I've seen the movies. Big date, big night, and then everyone loses it. They go crazy. 
Well, I'm pretty sure there are slasher movies based on prom nights, but... I like spending time with you. I like doing things with you. I like having you on my team. Cuddling up or holding hands, that's pretty nice. And that kiss, it wasn't so bad. But I don't want to do anything more than we've already been doing. I like things the way they are. Wait a second. Are you saying you're afraid that if you go to the dance with me I'll try to rip your clothes off? Something like that. Okay, I promise not to ravage you. It wouldn't be a good time to try that anyway. We'd be tired from dancing or too nervous. And then we wouldn't see each other because of summer. So don't worry about it. It's fine. What if there's never a good time? What do you mean? What if I never want to do that? I've tried to think about it and it should be exciting, right? But it just seems weird. Do you still want to go out with me if I'm maybe never going to want you like that? I take a hold of her hand, stroking her long dark fingers. Never's a long time. Nobody knows the future. You like the way things are now, right? I do too, and I want to go to the dance with you. Who else is going to be able to keep up with me? Ha! I don't know. Maybe you wanted to go out with Isabel or something. She looks away and then back to me, shyer than I've ever seen her. So... It's okay? We make our own rules. Right. Well, that's settled. At least for now. Maybe she'll change how she feels later, or maybe she won't. What matters is that right now, tonight, we're going to have a good time. So now we need to get ready. And we get to change our character's attire. We can take off the wacky glasses. We can take off the wiggle wand. We can put on the party dress. That's a pretty nice dress. We can even change the colour of it. Let's see, what colour would go well? Her hair is purple. I don't want it to be a purple dress. What's the opposite of purple? I'd probably say like an orangey colour, but would orange look okay? Can I turn the... yeah, I can turn the intensity up and down. Um... Orange, orange, orange. Orange is kind of an, an obnoxious colour, I think. Maybe a yellow? Yellow over here. Oh no, but that dress kind of looks like somebody kind of threw up on it, doesn't it? I don't like that colour. Maybe you can't go wrong with a red, can you? There's just no going wrong with red. Is there even a red here? And um, that looked pretty red just there. Yeah, sure, let's go with that. Let's put on the wacky glasses and the wiggle wand as well. No, take off the wiggle wand. Remove the wiggle wand because you can't have the wiggle wand with the party dress. Remember that next time you guys are going out to the ball, you can't have the wiggle wand with the party dress. It just doesn't work. Um, you know what? Let's go with blue. Blue looks pretty nice and it has some green to it as well, which kind of matches the eyes. Can I just go with purple? Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Let's go with a bit of a darker purple. I like that. Let's go with that. I wait in the darkness for my date to arrive. I can hear Virginia's voice before I see her. Promise not to laugh? Of course. There. I did it. Is it awful? You look fine. Really, it's not that much different from your everyday robes, is it? Except it's a lot colder. I don't know, I just feel like people are looking at me. Well, they are. See? I'm looking at you. You are not people. Is that good or bad? I don't know. Anyway, compared to what some people are wearing, I don't think anyone's going to be staring at you. Did you see Balthazar's cape? Looked like he'd got an onion on his head. He probably does. Okay, okay. I'm ready. Let's go in. The ceiling shimmers with translucent rainbow spheres. 
like enormous soap bubbles that never burst. The walls are masked with climbing ivy, and the stage is surrounded with flowers. The girl standing on stage, I think she's a senior in Snake Hole, wears a long white dress and a wreath of flowers and silver stars. No one is dancing yet, instead we all wait in a slow moving line. Every guest at the dance, either alone or with air date, or dates in some cases, must press must what? Must process across the gym floor and bow or curtsy to the Queen of the May. Then they all stand aside and the next subject approaches. It means everyone has a moment in the spotlight to show off clothing and partners. Virginia squeezes my hand far too tightly while we walk along the aisle. We curtsy and withdraw. We wait quietly with the rest of the students as the processions continue. The very last girl to walk up the aisle is a junior that I don't know, whose hair is both blonde and pink at the same time. Instead of curtsying before the stage, she walks up the stairs and kneels before the queen, who places the crown of flowers on her head. Everyone applauds, and then the music begins. So, how good are you at dancing? Wanna find out? I thought I was making a challenge. Oh, so it's a competition now. No, it's not. I don't want to beat anyone. I just want to see what you can do. What we can do. Together. Holding hands, we take the floor. Together. It takes us a few moments to figure out what to do when a slow song starts. Finally, we go with Virginia's hands on my shoulders and mine at her waist. And sometime later, when the dancers have become familiar and the watching eyes are no longer strange, this leads Virginia's this leads to Virginia's head nestling against my shoulder. All around us, the room is filled with sparkling. No one knows what the future is, but right now, this is pretty nice. And so the school year came to an end. The freshmen no longer. Over the summer, we would look back at our yearbooks and remember the friends, and remember the friends that we had made, while thinking about the adventures still to come. There's a lot of magic out there waiting. And this is, I really like this thing. I mean, the picture before with um, Silver and Virginia. That's like one of the th reasons why I always keep coming back to this game. Even though I think I, like. Even in my off-camera, I think I've um, gone through most of the paths. I think there's still one person who I haven't gone through with yet. Um, but this is also one of the best things. So it tells us our stats here. We're 38 smart. Our highest point is blue magic, blue magic, which is 87. Remember, because we have the glasses and wiggle wand, it actually said it was higher. Five Merits, Romance with Virginia Danson, Future Career, Map Maker, and voted most likely to steal someone's underwear. Thanks for being a great roommate, Ellen. Less than, less than three. I feel so damn red in that, but I'm trying. Virginia. See you next year, Minnie Cochran. And that is it! I thank you guys for watching this series. It has been really great. I am going to be continuing. There's still there's still a whole bunch of content in this game that I haven't even touched yet. Even even though I've gone through like probably about 90% of the game, at least to my knowledge, there's still like a whole bunch of stuff that I need to do. And I think there's like some secret routes as well that I haven't actually found yet. Um. But yes, the very next one I am going to be, or the next episode of Magical Diary, and I will be doing more episodes, I will be pursuing the romance path of someone who is not Virginia. In my personal, opin in my personal opinion, Virginia is actually my favourite, my favouritest character, she's my favourite character out of all of them, simply because she's quite unorthodox, really, and I don't mean in the religious sense, I mean like in the whole, like, she is really peculiar, and that's really charming. 
So, I will see you guys in the very next episode. Take care, I hope you guys have enjoyed this, I know I have definitely enjoyed recording it, and hey, maybe next time I'll be much better with the voices, or much more consistent with the voices. I still need to figure out how I'm going to format the other, the future episodes, because there's some content that happens, like, all the time, like say for instance, remember the freshman initiation? Yeah, that always happens every time you start a new game. I think I might leave that stuff in for the next episodes, or for the future parts. But anyway, take care guys, and thank you for watching Silver Wind's Magical Diary.